Thank you so much here with our NBA insider Ian Begley after the Knicks win their eighth straight game in large part due to Dante DiVincenzo's night. He had a career high nine threes, a season high for him, a career high for him, another high scoring game, second consecutive night. What has been behind his three point scoring this season? Michelle, I'm going to go back to last season when Dante was in Golden State because he's talked before about watching Steph Curry and how Steph prepared and whether he went one for 10 in a game or 10 for 10 in a game, he was back in the gym the next day shooting a thousand shots. So Dante picked up on that. He adapted it. He adopted it. And this is the result. He's just shooting the ball phenomenally. Tom Thibodeau also mentioned as soon as he got in, as soon as they got Dante, he was in the gym working out, working on a shot. So it's a product of hard work. Yeah, it certainly paid off. And also a great win without the efforts of Julius Randle and OG Ananobi. Any update on their injuries or their status? You know, Tom Thibodeau said with Julius Randle, they should have something definitive in the next day or two. We all know that the MRI uh, showed some positive signs. There's reason for optimism to think that Julius Randle can avoid that in-season surgery. I haven't heard anything to date that leads me to believe that would change. I think it's just a matter of gathering information, everybody getting on the same page for the rehab moving forward. Well, the trade deadline is coming up on February 8th. Where do the Knicks stand with that? Yeah, you know what? It's interesting because pre-Julius Randle injury, there was some thought to kind of stand pat because the team was playing so well. And I think that also tells you how they feel about how precious Achua has done lately, just the depth. But I do think the Knicks, you know, they've been in on Bruce Brown. They've been in on Alec Burks. I think, you know, they're just going to see where the price is at the eighth because at this point in the season, everybody kind of waits for the weekend early next week to start really talking about deals. So I think they're settled in here and they're going to see where these prices end up. Yeah, well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it as of now. Next up for the Knicks, they host the Pacers on Thursday at the Garden.